Hello, it's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes, and I'm back with the second half of this jewelry jar. We saw some vintage pieces. We saw some Mardi Gras beads, some stuff for kids come out of the, the uh, top part of the jar. And I want to try to get through, if I can, the rest of the jar today and get down to what looked like some interesting... Um, stones and things so here's a bunch of bags hope you're all having a great day it's uh, a little cooler here snow um, but uh, the weather's nice so this is this is cute these are these are all plastic beads they're on some kind of a cord I guess it's just meant to um, tie in place so I think I'll uh, I'll save those for the kids crafts the kids beads those are are quite nice even though the, the colors are quite nice on those blue ones um, even though they're not glass that's just painted on there sort of the sort of sort of evil eye look so we'll put that off with the kids stuff here's another blue thing Oh, it's, what is it? This was, um, this is part two of one of my BOGO jars. Buy one, get one uh, of lesser value free. This is interesting. It's a bit of a puzzle. Okay, it looks like what I would call a fringe Oh, there's the end. Okay, so I couldn't see the the clasp. These are, they don't feel cold, so they must be plastic. Some of the beads are, some of the seed beads, I think, are glass because they're cold. But it's macrame cord done in the, the, um, spiral square stitch so you're you just square you spiral you do the square stitch over and over and over from one side so it automatically spirals I don't know how they did the, the loop there at that end and then it comes down and then it has all these little bits of uh, of beads and uh, plastic stones meant to look like turquoise hanging down some rough spots in here. I wonder. Must just be how they've attached the fringy bits. And then it uh, has three little spots at the back here, I guess, so that you can make it longer or shorter if you want. Interesting. I would, you know, definitely say handmade, but it might be like an artisan made for um, tourist trade? I don't know. I've never seen anything done with macrame in that way. And it's, I mean, in itself it looks very pretty. I just, there's some some sharp spots over here. I, were, and I, I don't like sharp spots on my jewelry. So that's my, my personal thing my personal doubt coming in there that I wouldn't wear it probably but it'd be nice to do something with it and and like even as a bracelet it's sharp but it's pretty it's really pretty okay well that one might hang around for a while as I try to figure out what could be done with it what is this this is oh it's a sweet little necklace isn't this sweet? Good length, you know. Lobster claw clasp. Very lightweight, but in excellent, excellent condition. Look at that. Really, really pretty. Nice. That would be easy to pass on or gift to somebody. I have my regular place where I could donate to, so. 
Though with COVID coming back, a lot of the, um, the, the gratis sales, as they're called, in the uh, long-term care homes where, where the, the home residents can come and pick jewelry and scarves and ties and belts and stuff and basically take them for free they're, they've had to clo uh, cancel some of the sales because COVID's back so this is a lariat uh, it's just a, a length of chain that's knotted could be unknotted and um, and worn as a true lariat it's nice and long it's a nice color the, the these don't feel cold enough to be glass they feel like plastic but the dark, you know, the darkened amber beads with the dark chain are quite attractive. That would be nice, you know, nice something nice, lightweight to wear, just on top of a sweater um, in the f fall and winter. Nice little accent. I bet that would be popular in the uh, in the retirement. I'm gonna find a little bag to put it in. There we go because it would be really easy for somebody to wear and get on and off. This is unusual looking. Looks kind of like the color of fishing weights <laughs> and, and the shape. Um, good weight to it. It's, I'm not saying that it's lead, but it has that color and look and it's just a, not just, but it's a toggle clasp no markings. I don't know what metal it's supposed to emulate. Just under, so probably 16 inches, just under 18. And uh, I got stuff all over my table now. So interesting. It's nice. It's different. It's um, like it's kind of like Trying to think of what it reminds me of. But you could wear it, you know, on a black turtleneck. You could wear it with blue. You could wear it with a lot of things. A guy could wear this and it would look masculine too. I'll have to keep that in mind. My husband always is taking jewelry that I find in jars, but usually it's belt buckles uh, or watches, not not a necklace or something like that. What else have we got? This is, the middle of the jar is, I think, even more interesting than the, the opening of the jar was. So nice, sort of, that black gunmetal, uh, lobster claw clasp, just a, a ring and I guess an extension if you need it a bit longer. And it's plastic faceted beads in silver clear and uh, dark smoky gray and that's really nice look at that very wearable that would be great for the holiday season New Year's dress a little bit of sparkle that doesn't have a lot of weight very nice some ideas to what to do with that what is this? Oh good, it's not broken. It's a seed bead necklace. Every color of seed beads, not even, you know, oranges. I don't see too many reds. Oh, there's a few reds. Blues, lots of clears. So it's uh, enough clears that it looked, it doesn't look, you know, um, really bright in one color anywhere. Those could be uh, taken apart and uh, reused. Though I have so many seed beads, I probably won't do that. I might just save that for the kids' jewelry, as I call it. And they'll have seed beads to work with. Some more faux pearls. Oh, this is a stiff bag. 
Oh, oh, these are interesting. They're plastic. Spring ring clasp. They're nice. They're very lightweight. Compared with that other vintage set that were it was earlier in the jar. Quite long. What? One. 27. What would we say? That's 18. And 18 and 18. So. 54. Probably. These also would be nice on a little miniature Christmas tree. I've got Christmas trees on the brain. Please excuse me. Um, time of year. As soon as Halloween is over, they're already starting to advertise things you should buy for your loved ones for Christmas. And all the things you should buy to decorate your table for Christmas. And it's like, well, some of us have done that, you know, years ago. These are plastic as well. They're a gray faux pearl molded in place. No clasp. I could see a holiday jewelry theme happening here. You know, there's the gray pearls. There's the uh, um, these. You could uh, put those together. You know, layer them together. This one is shorter. This one's longer. That would be kind of cool. You might need a third piece in there to just sort of make it fill in the blank down here because of the leg there we go now i'm into jewelry styling so those are quite there those are nice they're they're that you know that much nicer than the poor mardi gras beads what is this this is cold what do you think? I think those are bits of glass. How come they won't focus? Here, try on my hand. There we go. Yeah, I think they're cold enough. I don't think they're... Here, I'm going to look. These are glass. Yeah, you can tell when you get into... I don't know if we can zoom in on these ones. You can see the sort of the broken spots in there. They look... Yeah. That's glass. Anyway, well, it's not bad. It's got interesting clasp. Oh, come on. Show us the clasp. It's, you spring it open like that and then, so nice clasp. Nice uh, little piece to add to the black and white. Black, white, clear, silver jewelry. I'm going to put it in here with that. I think that would be... I have a theme going on here. Um, this is... this. Uh, I'm looking at this going... I think I've had this before. I think this is a piece of... This looks like a piece of jewelry I've had and taken apart. Or... Oh, maybe not. I like the little... I like the little drop beads. Are they glass? No, I think they're plastic. I like that sort of um, antiqued bronze color with the blue and the, the coppery faceted beads. Cute, you know, 18 inches with, and then a, and an extender. Very wearable little necklace kind of fits with the fall theme colors. I might put it with that one there. And then there's this big bag. I don't these are definitely molded in place. They're lightweight plastic, but it looks like there's a an interesting clasp here. Ooh. No, I don't think that's the clasp. I think I think it somehow is the pendant. I just don't know how this comes untangled. It's very lightweight plastic, the whole thing. 
But it's kind of neato. I mean, if we could bear with me a minute while I try to Can we get it in there. Will she succeed? Will the tangle come out? Yes. Whoa, that's good and long then. So I can't really. Here it comes into the camera range. Yeah, all the way up to there. I guess putting it in a bag the way they did, it kind of did it a bit of a disservice. That's good and long. It's very lightweight. Um, I think it looks much better quality on the camera than it is. <laughs> it's it's very excuse me. It's very cheaply made. the The dangle's not bad, um, but I bet you could wear it and no one would. I think people would say, "Oh, is that ever a cool necklace?" Because it is kind of, it's different. So, there you go. I'm gonna find, I, I'm gonna find a bigger bag for it so that it doesn't get as tangled, I hope. I think somebody could have fun with that. Well, I think there's, just a couple more little pieces here. <coughs> and this is very worn. It's a very long snake chain, but the copper's all showing through. So that's too bad. I mean, at some point people need to decide what gets thrown out or recycled or whatever. I suppose you could use this, you could paint this or, or you know, regilt it, uh, well, probably with paint, and use it in a jewelry picture or some kind of assemblage, but nobody's going to use it as a necklace, not when it's that worn. Not when there's so much copper showing through. So I'll put that in my re... Considering reuse pile and then this one look how dark this is It looks broken but Oh That's all there is to it a little Y necklace and uh, It has no It has no hook Or like I know it's missing part of the class. So here's what the two and Let's do it on this hand. Here's what the two ends look like. So we just need to add a, a, a lobster or a spring ring or something of the right color. And these beads, they don't, they look black in the camera, but they don't look black in real life. They look like a really deep brown or almost a, a reddish black. If, that, if, you, if you understand what I'm trying to get at. And they are feeling cold. Hmm. Sort of. I don't know. They're, I can't tell if they're glass or plastic. They have the right weight to be glass. It just they, They're not quite cold enough. So that's a cute little necklace. Well, I don't know what I want to do with that. I like, that's, I like that color chain. Oh well, I don't have to give everything away right this week, do I? Or, I mean, it's not like I have to move out of my house to make room for the jewelry. So, Okay, so that was uh, a lot of cool stuff. And we are back for part three. I want to get into these rocks. Like, that's a rock. For sure. Now, it's probably dyed quartz. But that's quartz, and it's darn cold, and it's got a, a, a spot there. But I'm pretty sure that, that uh, that's not a naturally colored rock. But there's a whole bunch of them in here. And, and these funny coins. So, And something on a card. 
So, oh, part three. Well, I hope you don't mind. We'll be back for part two. Well, uh, finish off this jewelry Thanks for joining me today.